our Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, with us. Genesis 12. And our Father in heaven said to Abram, Go yourself out of your land, from your relatives, and from your father's house, to a land which I show you, and I shall make you a great nation, and bless you, and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. Amen. And I shall bless those who bless you and curse him who curses you. And in you all the clans of the earth shall be blessed. Amen. So Abram left as our father in heaven had commanded him. And Lot went with him. And Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. 75. And Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered, and the beings whom they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan. And they came to the land of Canaan. And Abram passed through the land to the place of Shechem, as far as the tabernacle tree of Moreh. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land, and our father in heaven appeared to Abram and said, To your seed I give this land. And he built there a slaughter place to our father in heaven, who had appeared to him. Amen. And from there he moved to the mountain east of Bethel. And he pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. And he built there a slaughter place to our father in heaven and called on the name of our father in heaven. Amen. And Abram set out, continuing toward the south. And a scarcity of food came to be in the land. And Abram went down to Egypt to sojourn there, for the scarcity of food was severe in the land. And it came to be when he was close to entering Egypt that he said to Sarai, his wife, See, I know that you are a beautiful woman to look at. And it shall be when the Mitzrites Egyptians see you that they, that they shall say, This is his wife, and they shall kill me, but let you live. Please say you are my sister, so that it shall be well with me for your sake, and my life be spared because of you. And it came to be when Abram came into Egypt that the Egyptians saw that the woman, that she was very beautiful, and Pharaoh's officials saw her and praised her before Pharaoh. And the woman was taken to Pharaoh's house, and he treated Abram well for her sake. And he had sheep and cattle and male donkeys and male and female servants and female donkeys and camels. He literally gave his wife into their hands. But our father never plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. And Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this you have done to me? Why did you not inform me that she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister? And so I was going to take her for my wife. Look, here is your wife. Take her and go. And Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him. And they sent him away with his wife and all that he had. May our, may our father, Messiah, speak with us. Genesis 12.